Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark, I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Wednesday, June 1st, 2016. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. This past weekend, RX Muscle's Johnny Styles was live on location at Tim Gardner's second annual Puerto Rico Pro, where Alex Cabernero came in and stole the show in the 212 division by holding off a strong surge from second place finisher, the giant killer, Sean Clarita, who found himself in the runner-up position for the second consecutive year. In the men's physique division, Chase Savoy returned from one week out after rocking the New York Pro stage to claim his first win of the season. In classic physique, Darum Charles continued his reign of terror by ringing up another huge victory, while a spectacular Kim Buck dominated from wire to wire in women's bodybuilding, besting second place Isabel Terrell and third place finisher Yaxani Oroquin. In figure, the amazing Maria Diaz fought back Georgina Lona to secure her first win of the season, while Antoinette Downey managed to fend off Heather Grace to take top honors in women's physique. And in the bikini division, the incredible Bianca Berry cruised to her second win of the season. In case you missed it, be sure to check out our full contest photo gallery, along with all the winner interviews and official wrap-ups, exclusively at rxmuscle.com. We also had some heavy action on the women's side last weekend down in the bayou at the 2016 Optimum Classic, where Muscle in the Morning's pre-show figure favorite Nadia Wyatt delivered the best performance of her young career to earn her first well-deserved victory and Olympia qualification. In women's physique, Asha Hadley carried the momentum from last week's second place finish at the New York Pro all the way to the winner's circle for the first time in her career by holding off one of the better versions of Diane Brown that we've ever seen. And in bikini, Molly and Nguyen bounced back in a major way from last weekend's disappointing performance to capture her first victory of the year. Beast Mode has officially been activated for Species Nutrition athlete Erica Blockman. Last season was a banner year for the fourth year pro who really blossomed right before our eyes to become one of the fastest rising stars in the entire women's physique division. After closing out 2015 with three top three finishes and an incredible top eight finish at her Olympia debut, Blockman heads into this season with a ton of momentum, looking to pick right back up where she left off. Every year we've seen Blockman find ways to add new dimensions to her physique, and this year doesn't appear to be any different. And a few weeks from now, when she's finally in mid-season form and ready to rock and roll, everyone else better watch out, because this time around, she's taking prisoners. Over the years, we've seen some of the biggest names in the sport emerge from the Junior USA Championships before moving on to superstardom. And when all is said and done, I believe that one of the athletes that's poised to make that leap from this year's crop of new athletes is going to be 19-year-old men's physique star in the making, Madhu Ezemora. At just 19 years old, the Nigerian immigrant has incredibly managed to turn himself into one of the most promising young athletes in the sport today, after only two years of training. With a little bit of time off to refine his physique, refine his craft, and really learn his body, Emizora certainly has the potential to turn into one of the top talents in the men's physique division. While most of the country was busy piling in barbecue by the truckloads this Memorial Day, Allison Fraun was doing what she does best, getting better rep by rep. This week, Fraun posted some video footage from a late night Memorial Day training session as she prepares to head into the next phase of her contest season. It's already been quite the year for the perennial Olympia contender, who's already managed to run off five top ten finishes through the first part of the season. There's absolutely no question that Fraun is one of the top talents in the entire figure division. But for one reason or another, we still haven't seen her be able to deliver that one lights out performance at the Olympia that we all know she's capable of. But now that she seems to be in a real competitive groove, hopefully she can hang on to that magic and ride the wave all the way to Vegas for what should be another epic battle later this season. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hey 
guys, it's Stevie B here. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button below and never miss another RX Muscle show, segment, or update. RX Muscle is number one. Woo!